Hey folks, welcome to the podcast. What's on the fucking menu tonight? What do we got here? It's the best damn root beer you've ever had. Now that is saying a lot. That You have to live up. If your name is going to be the best you've ever had, my God, you have to either be A, Bret Hart, or be literally the best you've ever had. So I've had a lot of root beer. As you guys know, if you've been watching these uh, uh, spiritually challenged episodes, you've seen that I've had two alcoholic root beers. Not your father's root beer and Coney Island root beer. The hard root beer. Not just regular root beer. It's hard as a rock, bitches. Anywho, I was at the store tonight picking up a few things. I saw this and it screamed out to me. It was like, hey. Uh, also, I'm rocking this scumbag look tonight. What do you think? You like that? It's sexy, isn't it? Anywho, um, yeah, I say goodbye to my beard as well. It's sad. Oh. Oh, I know. I know you guys are going to be in mourning, but I have a party to go tomorrow night. It's kind of formal, and I was going to let this thing just get out of control, but you know what? It just makes my face look fatter, and I've already got a fat enough face. I don't need to make it look any fatter. So let's take a look at these. Let's see what we got here. Now, I noticed the first thing that I noticed when I saw these. The alcohol content is a little lighter. It's 5.5 compared to 5.9 with uh, Not Your Father's Root Beer. I've also seen another one out there that I haven't reviewed that's like 7.9 that I'm not a big beer fan, and I have a really strong feeling that it's going to be a very beerish flavor. Um, I like the packaging. Not so much uh, compared to... I like the box uh, or the container versus Not Your Father's Root Beer. I think Not Your Father's Root Beer is a beautiful, well done, great marketing, folks. Um, <clears throat> but this is, uh, it's really basic, but it does give you that feel of that kind of mug or high as root beer that puts a smile on your face. Um, so I like them. I think it's really neat. And I'm going to actually take these all out. Why, you ask? Because there's something on the bottom of the box. I can't tell you what's on the bottom of the box because I haven't even looked yet myself. However... We're going to find out together. Um, I was reading the side and it said new. <laughs> uh, don't just take our word for it. And down the bottom here, I don't know if you can see, I can see it. It says uh, behind the brew. So let's find out the, the methods that they use or what's going on here. Behind the brew. Gonna need my glasses. Getting old. An old man these days. Okay. Behind the brew at the Best Damn Brewing Company. Uh, we're on a mission to bring you the best damn thing you've had all day. Jesus Christ. That now, now you've exceeded not just root beer, not just alcoholic root beer, but everything I've eaten today. It probably will exceed that. I haven't eaten shit today. I need to lose some weight. I'm a fat, disgusting piggy. Uh, we called our root beer mission Throwback. Throwback a throwback. Our delicious, easy-drinking, best damn root beer is aged on real vanilla beans. Real vanilla beans. That didn't sound right. <laughs> During the brewing process, for a full-flavored, well-balanced take on one of our favorite classic tastes. We hope you love it as much as we do. Cheers. Get the full story at www.bestdam.com. It's a good URL. Good for them. They got their Facebook, their Twitter, their Instagram, so on and so forth. So, uh, yeah. I like mediocre brews, said no one ever. <laughs> Anywho, uh, it sounds good. Uh, the packaging is good. I like their little story. I like the way they're relaying it to us. So I say, why are we waiting? Let's bust into one of these. I'm hoping I can open it with this because I forgot to grab a bottle opener. But this looks like it might work. I didn't even try to see if it was twist off. It might have been twist off. Mmm. All right, the smell is already off the bat, better than all the other ones that I've tried so far. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up tones of... I feel like this is... <laughs> I feel like this was made in a rope factory. Somewhere with these old aged crates, these, these barrels that vanilla beans were thrown in. It was brewed, it was all mixed together. It was poured into these bottles by hand, which I know it wasn't, but... Oh, maybe it was, I don't know. I'll have to read the whole story. Have you ever had, um, like, Virgil's or, uh, what's the other one? What's the big, IBC. It's got a very root beery flavor. I can't smell any alcohol whatsoever. Which, for me, that's always a positive. Um, I love alcohol. I may have a problem, a serious problem, but 
for you guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm willing to have that problem. And I'm willing to save you $10.47. So without further ado, I'm going to taste this for the first time. I feel like my palate's cleared enough now. I've been drinking a white Russian, so let's see. Sweet, sweet. A little bit for the homies, the dead homies. All right. You ready for my initial reaction? Fucking liars. You're all liars. This is bullshit. This is not the best damn root beer I've ever had, nor is it the best thing I've had all day. And I haven't eaten that much. It, it's got a really shitty flavor. It's boring. It's lame. There's nothing unique about it. And I can taste more alcohol than I can smell. I'm going to have to clean this thing. My cat actually just jumped up here. Toby, you saw him the other night. If you watched the, uh, the other video, the other review, what the hell did I review? What was it? Um, Oh, the chocolate Lay's. Those were a thousand million times better than this. If I had had Lay's today and then I drank this, see, you set me up, you sons of bitches. You set me up for the best damn root beer I've ever had. You set me up for the best thing I've eaten all day and you're a liar. This is okay at best. It's strange. I'm getting like, with the, like the, uh, do you remember the Coney Island root beer? Um, there was like a very, uh, almost like a citrusy, citrusy taste to it. And I'm getting the same connotations, the same values coming out of this bottle. Um, the alcohol content is low. It's 5.5, but I can still taste it, which is fine. I mean, I know I'm drinking alcohol. I shouldn't be like, hey, why does this taste like alcohol? What the fuck? <laughs> um, Oh, this is extremely disappointing. Very sad. This is very sad. You can't call yourself the best damn root beer you've ever had and then taste like this. It's not, like I said, it, it, it's not the worst thing I've ever had, but I would never buy this again. I will actually literally leave this in the fridge until someone else wants to try it. It's just not. You know, everything leads me to believe it should be good. I mean, I love the packaging. I love the smell. I love what they stand for and what they're talking about here on the bottom of the box, but it's not the best of anything I've ever had. It's barely borderline okay. I mean, it's middle of the road at best. You know, I'd rather actually drink a non-alcoholic root beer than this. And I'd probably be much more satisfied afterwards. Well, best damn, you know, I mean, you did your best, apparently. But your best wasn't good enough for me or spiritually challenged. So uh, let's give it a score. Let's see. I'm going to give it a straight six. It's just, it's nothing. Nothing remarkable. Actually, the Coney Island, even though it had more alcohol, which I, I really didn't, uh, wasn't a big fan of, at least it was unique. This is bland, flavorless. Uh, there's hints of root beer. My God, I mean, the smell... It smells better than it tastes. That's weird, because usually the whole olfactory, you know, it all works together to kind of like give you that same experience. But in this case, no, it's not. I would say save yourself $10.47 or more or less, you know, give or take. Um, go get yourself, not your father's root beer. It's still the king of the hard root beers. Now, my friends, next week I'm going to have to take the opportunity to go out. I'm going to get that other root beer. I'm going to get the one that's 7.9%. I have a strong feeling I'm not going to like that either. But for you guys, good God. Anywho, I've been working on the Christmas Parade video. I don't know if it's ever going to see the light of day. I filmed for... filmed and sweated my ass off. I dressed very uh, formally for the video and I did a lot of uh, commentary for over two hours of footage. I recorded probably about 40 hours of commentary for it and um, discovered afterwards that 
my tie, which had, <laughs> which was a clip on. Yes, I'm ghetto sometimes. I have a lot of zipper ties, the one that zip and they zip tie. They're really nice because you never know. But the clip ons tend to fall off if they're not on there just right. It fell off with my microphone, so I lost a lot of footage. So I'm gonna go over it next week if I have time. I'll edit it up and see if I can give you at least the first half of it, maybe get you the second half. There's a lot of dog testicles in it. I'm just warning you now. It's obscene. You're gonna see things that you will never be able to unsee. And this is something I will never be able to untaste. I'm really sorry, Best Dam. I'm sure you're a wonderful company with wonderful people and great employees that work hard every day to produce this, but it's just not up to my standards. Uh, not Your Father's Root Beer is the king of hard root beers, and there's no sense in even you know going anywhere else. Coney Island, <laughs> Best Dam, <laughs> go the uh, Not Your Father's. Anywho, yeah, it's a six. Try it if somebody's at a party, you know, it's sitting around. Other than that, I would not go out of my way to spend a dime on this stuff. Anywho, if you love and watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please subscribe and pass them along to anybody who you know who might like watching them as well. Uh, follow me on the social media. It's always at G-E-Y-C-E-N. It's never going to change. Wherever you go, you'll find me there at G-E-Y-C-E-N. Uh, don't forget to make someone smile tomorrow and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today. Tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance as one, my brothers and sisters, in the sun and in the rain. <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> take care of yourselves. Take care of one another and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves. They're the ones that need it the most, especially in this holiday season. Do what you can to help out, okay, folks? Anywho, I'm Jason Oliver. This is Spiritually Challenged. I hope you're having a wonderful December, and I'll see you guys a little bit further on the road, okay? You guys take care. See ya. Bye. Later. What the hell is this stuff? Yeah, that, that didn't improve the quality. See you later.